Hello, I'm the Cash Reflector, and this is Defenders of the Donbass. This is a uh, diorama that I built uh, commemorating the actions of uh, February 2023 when uh, this man here, uh, Ruslan Zubarev, and his squad mate, the internet nicknamed uh, the Squire or the Supplier, defended a, a trench from uh, attacking Russians. About a dozen uh, dismounted Russian infantry and a BMP attacked these two uh, Ukrainians while they were in their trench. During the Battle of uh, Savatov, I apologize for mispronouncing that. Um, the two of them were attacked, and uh, Ruslan in a feat of arms, um, uh, using all the weapons they had in their trench, RPG, AKs, PKM, hand grenades, uh, defended the trench from the Russians and, and drove off the attack. I believe they, uh, they also destroyed the BMP. The uh, action captured my imagination. Ruslan was nicknamed uh, Training Rambo for the Predator based off of the uh, Predator patches that he had. Um, and uh, it, I thought it was amazing. I did a piece off of Ruslan and people asked me, well, where's the supplier? So I uh, made him too and I made a uh, scene depicting one of the moments from their, their action when... Uh, uh, the supplier was uh, tossing him grenades to throw at the advancing Russians. So to build this trench, I uh, took some, uh, I believe it was plywood, but it was just wood from Home Depot, cut it up, and uh, I added some foam cork glue to the sides to uh, kind of thicken out the walls a little bit, sealed it up with uh, glue, because uh, spray paint will uh, melt the, uh, the foam, and uh, covered it with uh, black paint and then what I did is I uh, layered on some uh, Elmer's glue with the dirt uh, on top of that to uh, build these uh, dirt walls for the trench. I uh, took uh, some roots from the uh, dirt just kind of poked them in the sides and uh, I used coastman sticks and ground clutter for the uh, for the top with uh, sand that had been painted white to uh, simulate the snow that you uh, can see in the video along uh, parts of the, uh, the trench. Sandbags, just got them off of eBay. And uh, butane uh, ground cloth and the uh, helmet cover were both uh, from Spoonflower. Um, butane's like a Ukrainian version of woodland that uh, dates back to Soviet times if I remember correctly. Uh, ground clutter consisted of uh, cigarette packs, uh, Ukrainian rations, some little snack bags, which is why you, if you look at the uh, blue ones, you'll see like little, uh, uh, there it's uh, seafood if I remember right, and then the uh, the red ones are uh, sunflower seeds with a little babushka in the front of it. Um, just printed off uh, some uh, some uh, wrappers, uh, bound them up, uh, weathered them a bit, and then uh, got a part of an Amazon box to uh, make the cardboard box that you can see under there underneath uh, one of the MREs. The uh, weapons consist of a uh, pair of DAM AKs, DAM Toys AKs, which uh, got merged together. I built a uh, fab defense rail out of a uh, HK416 uh, four, rail four end of all things. And a buddy of mine named uh, Tamaki made the uh, Hollow Sun and Sig Laser, and he also did a really great job with the paint on this thing. Uh, it, uh, he uh, was able to kind of capture the look of uh, the guy's AK uh, accurately. Though uh, I will say, in the actual video, you'll see the, uh, the AK loses its grip um, early on, and uh, he has to shoot it without it. I, I left it on because Frankly, I'd spent too much money making the piece for the other diorama. I wasn't about to uh, tear up a piece like that again. We also have a uh, 21st Century Toys uh, PKM. Uh, that was uh, made by, uh, that was unreleased, but the designer sold uh, resin casts of the original. It's um, hard to find these days. I think he's completely retired. Damn AK. Uh, Damn uh, RPG-7. The rockets are also damned with the exception of the uh, OG-7V there. 
that uh, anti-personal rocket was uh, made by a friend of mine named uh, Uswin, who did a uh, phenomenal job on it, uh, 3D printed it. Um, so the supplier is wearing a uh, Soviet-style snow smock. Uh, I don't know whether these were the Soviet-style ones or uh, which had been just, you know, reproduced or whether this was one of the modern ones that was uh, have it has that black and white molded camouflage it's just too indistinct from the video <laughs> he's got a uh, butane helmet cover which, uh, over a uh, knockoff PA PASGT which was the uh, old American helmets and he's wearing uh, MM14 uh, winter boots the uh, head was uh, a, a DID uh, up and and uh, frags were from uh, Easy and Simple. Bruce Lynn is wearing a uh, green winter jacket with uh, multi-cam pants, uh, multi-cam uh, helmet cover, and uh, I was not able to get an MTAC, uh, I believe it's a Karias vest, but I was able to get something that kind of looks like it. Uh, it's just they don't make it, they don't make it MTAC in scale, but I was able to use an easy and simple uh, scarab vest with pouches that mocked up to look like what he, uh, he did actually use. Uh, patches were just uh, printed at home on an inkjet printer, a cotton paper. Uh, I was able to get the, the ones that he actually did wear on his uniform, including, can't see it very well, but the, uh, the ghost patch from Call of Duty and uh, the uh, Predator patches, Predator and Punisher patches that he uh, was seen to, to also wear on his uniform as well. Uh, this project took a long time to build. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple of months now, but it was a, a joy to do and I'm, I'm glad it's done. Uh, Defenders of the Donbass, I will also credit Tamaki with coming up with the name of this. And uh, the uh, carrying text below that is, is the divisional model for the 92nd uh, Mechanized uh, Brigade, which is uh, what these two gentlemen were part of when, they, uh, when the action occurred. Um, I hope you enjoy this, and uh, Slava Ukraini.